crystal and in this week's video I will be doing a review on this portable compact twin tub washing machine now if you like this video do not hesitate give this video a like and without further ado let's jump right into this video I will start off by saying this washing machine here obviously is not like your typical machine it is smaller in size but let me tell you this machine is definitely convenient and I say this because I live in New York City and here in New York if you do not own your own home you probably won't have your personal washing machine um, I know some buildings have a laundromat in the basement or on the first floor but for the most part people that live here that do not own their home they have to wash their clothes with other persons no because I was having a newborn, I was not comfortable with her clothes being washed where other people's clothes were being washed. So I said, let me go online to see if I can find something small and compact that I could use for her stuff. And to my surprise, they had a mini washing machine. Who knew that? So for us, it has been very, very convenient. It can also be used for camping. It can be used for college dorm room. It can be used for RVs okay so obviously it's very very flexible now before i give you guys a more detailed look on the machine as well as a demonstration i'm gonna give you a few of the specs so the machine itself has two compartments it has a washer and a spinner not a dryer a spinner the machine weighs approximately 12 kg which is 26.5 pounds it is 23 inches in length, 13 inches in width, and 26 inches in height. Now let me just give you a view of the back part. Now the back part looks like this. You have these little knobs here, and these are what you use to reel the cord on. I almost forgot to mention the price of this washer is currently $115.99. The vendor that I purchased from, it was $100. They do not have this item available anymore, so what I did, I went and found a new vendor, which I will link in the description box below. And the price currently is $115.99. Now on the left side of the machine, you can see this hose right here. You pretty much just unhook it like this and you hook it like that. Um, as you can see, it's located at the base of the washer. So what I do, I prop my washer on a bench and I'll insert a picture of that so it has easier access to be released in my tub. So I'll show you guys how that works in the demonstration portion of this video. Now this is a close up of the washing machine. It has two compartments as I said before, the washer. Now this is the attachment that we got. Um, this is what you use to attach it to the pipe. Um, it has the water in that here and this side as well, but to be honest, we don't really use this We just use a container to put water in the machine because I feel like that would work better This kind of feels a little bit flimsy to me um, And I'm not sure it would work that well on the pipes that we have in the bathroom And so we decided to just not use this part So this is what the washer looks like the water goes out through this part here. Now this is what the spinner looks like and this thing right here is what we put on top of the clothes after we've placed them in the spinner so they won't fly in different compartments. So for instance, this area in here, because it has happened before where a sock has gone in that section and it was so hard to get out. So this is pretty much it. Um, yeah. Now as you can see, there are three knobs on the top part. We have this one here that's responsible for the time of the wash. It has a maximum capacity of 15 minutes. This one here is a type of wash. You have standard, you have soft, and it has drain. So when you're going to release the water, you put it on drain. Standard, I use it for my stuff. Like if I have small items that are not a full wash, I'll put them in here and we use standard for my baby's clothes we use soft and on this side we have the spin timer it has a maximum capacity of five minutes 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for the up close portion of the washer. To begin the wash, I'm going to get everything I need and of course that includes the dirty laundry, um, this hanger that you're seeing right here. Normally after it runs in this spinner, it's not completely dry, it's almost dry but not completely. So we usually transfer them here so they can be fully dried. I'm now going to go ahead and load my washer. Normally I put in 26 pieces of clothing because we only have 26 pins on the hanger so that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna go ahead and use this container as you can see it's an ice cream container it's actually a gallon this is what i use to fill up the washer with water um it holds approximately a gallon so I would say we use like probably seven gallons of water to fill the top, seven to eight, depending on the amount of clothes that's in there. So yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because I do not want to torture you guys. But I will say um, having a machine like this has definitely been very, very helpful. It's convenient and especially having a little one. I can wash her clothes pretty much whenever I feel like it. It could even be midnight. I'll be doing laundry sometimes. It does not take a lot to maintain and it gets the job done. So yeah. Now I think that's pretty much all the water I need. So I'm gonna stop right here and yeah as long as the clothes are fully submerged then you have had enough water now right here you can see the max line i'm not sure if you can see it i'll try to zoom in but the water is basically a centimeter above the max line and of course that's fine i'm going, going to go ahead and use my laundry detergent that's the drift stage one it smells so so good i like to smell her clothes when i use this on it um, I typically use like a third, one third the cap for her washes or a wash of this capacity. The other day we made the mistake of buying the Drift Pure. That one was for kids with sensitive skin and that had no scent whatsoever. I was not a fan. I ended up using it on our clothes because I just wanted to get rid of it. So I ended up buying another one. This one smells amazing. So I'm going to insert my lint catcher. This is one I got off Amazon because of course these mini washers do not have lint catchers. I normally go to 12 minutes for my wash. Sometimes I do 9, sometimes I do 12. It all depends. Today I decided to do 12 minutes and that's what it looks like while it's washing. The good thing is that you are able to open the washer while it's washing to see what's going on. You can't do it with a spinner, but you can definitely do that with the washer. Now we're all done. We're on zero and this is what we're looking like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and release the water in the bathtub. Of course, I have to put it on drain for the water to be released properly. Now that it's finished draining, we're going to hook it back on the machine. I've made a mistake several times of not doing this and I'm over here catching water in the container to put in the washing machine and the water is just coming right back out in the tub. So always remember to hook that thing back whenever it's finished draining. Now we have enough water, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on seven minutes for the rinse. Now we're all done. Um, the water is looking a bit soapy and so I think I'm going to go in for a second rinse. We're going to go ahead and release the water once more. Put it on drain. Now we're going to fill it up again. 
and at this point we have enough water so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on six minutes as you can see the second dial is on soft wash um, I normally use soft for her stuff and if I'm washing like white t-shirts or whatever the case may be for my husband and myself, I will put it on a standard. That way we have a more rigorous wash. So yeah, it's a bit more mild when it's on the soft side. So I use that for her clothes. No, this water is looking a bit more clean. And so I think this is it for the rinsing and I'm going to prepare for spinning. Now this little thing that you see um, is what you put on top of the clothes after you've packed them in the spinner so they won't fall out or go in the wrong areas. Now this is the lint catcher and this is the amount of lint that I got out of the wash. Now as you can see I have packed the spinner a bit. I forgot to film while I was putting them in initially. They are comp they're not completely dry but they have been spinned. And ready to be hung out they're almost dry let me tell you it does an extremely good job at spinning the clothes I'm gonna go ahead now and pin the clothes out with this amount of laundry in the wash I had to do two separate spins this is the first set that you're seeing right now and this is the second set what I will say is do not be afraid to pack your spinner because I did a test where I put a small amount of clothes in there to see if it would dry better and I realized that whether it's packed or whether there's a little bit of clothes in there, it dries to the same extent. So I just pack it whenever I'm going to spin the clothes and we're all done. This is it. Now there you have it, that's my review on this mini washing machine. Do not forget if you like this video hit the like button and with that being said I will see you guys in my next one.